Here we go for the blacklist. It's been a while. I don't know what took me so long. All right, episodes I'm going to be going over now. The Blacklist, the Troll Farmer, the Task Force Races Against the Clock to Recover, a Valuable Asset Stolen from the Government, Red Hatches a Plan to Help Track Down the Perpetrators, 8.7 out of 10. Pretty cool because they actually tricked them all into going to a building where there was nobody and then they surrounded them. If, you know, this season is not as bad as people said. Uh, it's still pretty good. Yes, it's not as good as before because the enemies aren't as great, but it's still pretty good. I mean, just having James Spader by himself is a show in itself, in my opinion. Next episode was The Postman. This one was kind of weird. After an intimate open... In an intimate. <laughs> After an inmate opens fire at a high-security prison, Task Force investigates co a contraband smuggler known as The Postman. Cooper revisits his past ties to the suspect. 7.5 out of 10. His past ties was when he was on dirty duty against him. I got a 7.5 out of 10, 525. I didn't think it was that great. It was kind of a, a little uh, outstretched, kind of wacky episode because it really had no relevance to being any somewhat realistic either. Man in the Hat. When Red is identified as a possible hostage during a deli robbery in Philadelphia, Denve and Russell take action. 7.8 out of 10. I'm not going to read that anymore. And the last one is... What the hell? I only I watched more than that one. Two, three... Maybe I'm wrong here. All right, yeah, there's another one I, I didn't didn't tell you about that I watched today. The task force investigates a series of social media conspiracies that simulate dangerous public attacks. When a top secret government program is stolen, the team works to uncover the troll farm's involvement. Seven point six. These are not terrible episodes, but the show's over with now, so we can remember the good show. People didn't like Elizabeth Keene, from what I heard. So if not, then they probably enjoyed the last season the most. I wasn't get, I wasn't too much with her character after about the first few seasons. It just got annoying. The whole Elizabeth Keene chasing Ray Reddington the whole time, it just got ridiculous. I just went, think it went too far. Bye-bye.